the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, man, God bless you. I, this is deep today. I really, I'm telling you, they deep every day, really, right? Every Sunday, right? But this is deep. This one is probably the most important message that was ever discussed uh, that we went over today, or I went over today. And I wanted to share with you, and I, I just want to encourage you to listen to these studies this week um, because it matters to you personally concerning the direction you should take in life, concerning the Word of God. And the direction should always be toward Christ, toward Yeshua, toward Jesus. You know, the scripture says in John 14, 6, Jesus, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. And that means you don't go by the color of your skin. You don't go by your political affiliation. You don't go by your nationality. You don't go by what country you're in. You don't go by the country where you came from. You go by Christ. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. But if you can keep that in mind, you can make a big difference. So we're going to go and talk about the study real quick. This is the introduction. And, and one of the things I want to do is make sure you know this is what we talked about today. This is a good question, too. It's like the fact is, and, and I like it, and I think it makes sense. It's a question. And I'm going to answer the question at the same time. Do Christians believe we are not accountable to God, but to man? And the scripture I'm using is Romans 14, 12, Jeremiah 17, 10, and Galatians 1, 6 through 10. I'm going to focus on the foundation scriptures in Romans 14, 6 through 12 that I'm going to talk about. But the point is this. Do Christians, because that's why that's what I am. I'm a believer in Christ, Christ Jesus. He's my Lord and personal Savior. So I'm asking a question as a fellow Christian to other Christians, right? I'm gonna answer the question in a second. But what I'm saying is, do Christians believe we are not accountable to God but to man? The answer is that we are accountable to God, not to man. And but your actions must line up with that statement, right? Because what people see. And let me get this up. Come off the screen right here. What people see is in most cases, it seems like people move based on the will or preference of your fellow man. You call yourself a Christian. You call yourself a believer in Christ. But you do the thing that is, you do contrary to the word of God. And therefore, you act like you're not accountable to God. Now, make sure you get this, this foundational script I was using. Is in Romans, like I was telling you earlier, in Romans 7. And I want to make sure we cover those real quick. In Romans 7, it says, let me make sure I get it up there for you. I know I got to talk too long. Romans 14, side is 7 to 12. For none of us live unto himself. And no man dies to himself. For whether we live, whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord's. For this, for to this end, Christ both died and rose and revived, that he might be Lord both of the dead and the living. For why does thou judge thy brother? Or why does thou set at naught thy brother? For we shall all, we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess to God. So then every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. Every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. I say it again. Every one of us should give an account of himself to God. That preacher, that minister should give an account of himself to God. And if he's sitting there endorsing you to do bad things, you know, I have one of my friends sit there and say, 
I want to be able to talk about and preach about all kinds of things. And then I, some of the things, I don't want the, the system to discriminate me and tell me I can't preach about the Bible. You know, the, if you're teaching, if you're a Christian, you're teaching about preaching the good news. And people should walk out being able to go preach the good news. If people walk out and sit there and go and beat somebody up because of this exploitation or something else, if people go out there and go and list people because of the color of skin, you didn't preach the good news. Because that, you obviously didn't preach the good news. You didn't preach that they were supposed to love one another. You preached that they were supposed to be the wrath of God. That's not God. That's not the will of God. We should not be going around crucifying anybody. We should not be beating up anybody. We should be loving everybody. And if you feel that that's not justified, but you feel that the preaching the gospel is not enough, then you go ahead and be something else, but you're not preaching the gospel. And the Bible says if you preach any other gospel, you are a curse. You think about that. We're supposed to love one another. We're supposed to encourage other people to come to Christ. We're supposed to sit there and say that come as you are because the only person who can clean you is him. We're supposed to sit there and say the only way I can be holy is through him. The only way I can be righteous is through him. Remember that. That's what we're talking about today. So I hope you enjoyed this study. I hope you learned the session coming up. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share what you learned to somebody else. Cause that's really what matters. You can subscribe all you want, leave a comment all you want. I don't care, I wanna hear what scripture, but I want you, if you're gonna comment, comment based on the scriptures. Because that's what matters. But the bottom line is this, we all are giving account to God. So I hope you enjoyed the session coming up. Well, I'm going to break them down into A, B, C, D, whatever the cup takes. And then I'm going to go ahead and send these out daily. But I want you to remember that Yeshua is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord in your life. And do His will. That's all that matters. Enjoy the session. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you when I see you. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs> you don't want that. Verse 5. Thus says the Lord. Cursed be the man that trusts in man and maketh his flesh his arm, who heart departs from the Lord. You curse. Many of you curse because you follow in the will of man. Come on, saints, if you're a saint. Measure, come on, ain'ts. Get right, man. Follow the will of God. For he shall be like the heat in the desert and shall not see what good comes, but shall inhabit the parched places of the wilderness in a salt land and not inhabit it. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord. Come on, God, not your party, not your ministry, not in man, but in God. He telling you right there in the first verse I told you in verse 5, he said, Curse if you trust in man. When your pastors, your preacher, your family, your friends start telling you to do something contrary to the will of God, you and you go by them, you are cursed. <laughs> There's people in jail now following somebody else. There's people in jail now doing the things that please another person or pleases yourself instead of pleasing God. Come on, say, please, please, please. But verse 7, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord who hope. The Lord is. Huh? For he shall be like a tree planted by the water that spreads out her roots. By the river shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaves shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought. Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know them or know it? For listen, Believers, please listen to the scripture right here. I, the Lord, searches the heart. I do not, the Lord is saying, I'm paraphrasing this all the way. He is not looking at your party affiliation. He is not looking at the color of your skin. He is not looking for whether you came from Africa or Europe or some other place. He is not looking whether you're a Jew or a Gentile. He searches the heart. God searches the heart of man. I try the rain, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruits of his doing. 
That's why I told you a tree is known by his fruit. What fruit are you bearing? You could sit there all day long and justify being evil, being mean and nasty, <laughs> but your tree, God will give you an account to God based on your fruit, not based on getting account of your fellow ministry or people. If people, look, in the, in the end, God's will overrides the will of people. So you sit there trying to please people, you, all you're doing is condemning yourself. You know, and I like verse 9 again, the heart is the seat for the heart of what? The heart of man. That's what God searches the heart. Because it said the heart of man, really, that's what it means. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Come on. So that's why he said in 10, I, the Lord, searches the heart. He needs to, he looks at your heart and said, well, you are wicked. What are you evil? Or will you have love and compassion and mercy to your fellow man? Come on. I'm just, I've got, I, got to, I got to throw these in here. What's the next one? Deuteronomy 8, 17 says, And thou say in thy heart, My power and the might of my hands has gotten me this wealth. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. For it is he that gives thee power and wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. And it shall be, if thou do at all forget the Lord thy God, following, look, look, I'm putting it in, follow some political party, follow some color of skin, follow some other kind of doctrinal man, and walk after other gods and serve them and worship them, I testify against you this day that you shall surely perish. God's talking about it all through the scriptures. That you, you sit there and you, 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 I'm gonna call myself a Christian, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna lynch you, I'm gonna hate you, I'm gonna throw you in jail, I'm gonna do all bad things to you, I'm gonna discriminate against you, I'm gonna do all the, I'm doing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I still call myself a Christian, but I'm gonna do some bad things to you. I still call myself a Christian that I can, but I can do anything to you. No, you, that's what you do. You just call yourself a Christian, but the Bible says a tree is known by its fruit. If you do anything right here, six things that God hates, but you can say, I'll call myself a Christian. Six things that the Lord hates, yea, seven are abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hand that shed innocent blood, a heart that divides a wicked imagination, Feet that be swift and run into mission, a false witness that speaks lies, and he that sows discord among his brothers. But I'm a Christian. I can I can do the thing that God hate, six of them and seven, but I'm a Christian. Oh man, I, I can I can do these things. I'm, I'm a Christian. I can do these things, right? I can violate the will of God. I can ignore the things that he hates because I'm a Christian. Come on now, I can do these things, right? You, you can't, you can't. Did you hear what I'm trying to tell you? You can't, but you can sit there and say, I'm a Christian, I got, oh, I, I, I got all the paraphernalia, look at that. I got, I do all this paraphernalia, but I'm gonna do the things that he hates and he, he won't mind. Because my fellow man approved what I do, my actions, right? Please, it does matter. And it does matter. And I, I don't know, some of you have uh, drank the Kool-Aid. And, and, and it's not just starting today. It started all the way back in the crusade. It started in the cell of witch hunt. It started in the slavery. It started in the Jim Crow's laws. It started in the political parties today. Sit there and hear a lie and, and, and it says still okay. Then you, you do what you want. But I'm gonna tell you something. You still will be accountable to God. All those people in that political party, all those people in my political party, all the people in independence and everything else, you can go ahead and believe a lie you want to. You can go ahead and do bad things you want to, but I'm gonna tell you something. You will give an account to God. And you can call yourself anything you want, but you still got to give an account 
of yourself to God. Amen. And I want to wrap up with this one. These here. I wanted to cover. I think I did cover most of the other scripture, but I want to understand how do you sit there and say that you are Christian and still ignore God's word. The first set right here, one through five, is, is talking about a relationship between you and God. You know, so I'm going to read this quickly, and then I'm going to go, because I really want to get to the things that you do between the relationship with you and man, your fellow man. But let's go with the Ten Commandments, because most people may not have even read them, right? Let's read them. This is Exodus chapter 20. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God. And I, which have brought thee out of the land of bondage. Egypt means bondage. Out of the house of bondage, meaning sin. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Meaning you don't put your party, you don't put your friends, you don't put your mother, your daddy, anything else before God. <laughs> That's the will of God. Amen. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Therefore, you don't sit there and go and paint people because they you don't paint to change the color of Christ or the color of the Hebrews to, to white, European white. You don't sit there and say, oh, well, you know, that's our now. That's what we worship. Please, please help, help me, Lord. Thou shalt not make of thee any graven image or any likeness, anything that is in heaven above or that is in earth beneath or that is in the water under the sea. Thou shalt not bow thyself down to them. It's not so much that when you're making the image, it's the fact that all you bound yourself down to them. Nor serve them. Huh? For I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God. God says he's a jealous God. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. And showing mercy, though, unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. That's why we're sitting there saying is you will be held accountable to God. If you do his commandments, you follow his will. His will not, his will. Look at this. Let's read, we'll read more of it. Because all you sit there still keep thinking about drinking in the club and stuff, all that stuff. Thou shalt not take thy name of the Lord thy God in vain. Thou will not hold him guiltless that, that takest his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath. Keep it holy. Huh? Six days shall thou labor and do thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord, thy God, in it thou shalt not do any work. See, when you want to get deep, when you want to get down to the Sabbath day, then you got to understand what the Sabbath day means, not any work. Then you'll not, yeah. So how this country, they work 24 7. See, most of y'all sit there and say, well, I'm supposed to work, I'm supposed to go to church on Sunday. So I got, on Saturday, excuse me, Saturday. And, 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 and at the same time, you need to have that restaurant open for me. Whether it's Sunday or Saturday, you want to make somebody else work, but you, you don't want to work. And then you still work. Come on, man, y'all can't keep that. That's why that's why you need the Lord. But you get somebody like wrapped up on the Sabbath day, so I'm going to tell you, you can't keep it. Well, do, you do the best you can. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> he said, Thou shalt do any work, the, nor thou son, thy daughters, thy maid servant, thy maid, you know, man servant, and maid servant, the, nor thy cattle, nor thy strange, stranger within thy gates. Thou shalt do any work. If you want to keep it, go ahead and see me keep it. Right? Because Christ came and said, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So you go and you two that judge for yourself. And I'm going back to teaching of Christ. In six days the Lord made heaven and earth, <coughs> the sea and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. That's what he talked about it for the Sabbath day. Christ said it's for your resting, right? The other one that says, Honor thy father and thy mother, that thou days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. And how many people do that? Just guard. Some of you sit there and don't honor your father and mother because of their political party, because of the color of skin, or anything else. You, you get a like. You need to get a like, really. 
But here's the one I want to focus on is this is the relationship between man and man. Are, are you hearing those of you that want to be Old Testament saints? Are you hearing what the scripture says? Thou shalt not kill, meaning thou shalt not murder. How many of you are murdering people, either, either verbally uh, or physically? And some people, some some groups of people, are talking about that lynching and everything. How, how do you go square? How do you think those people who died, who did all that lynching, what, what do you what do you think they're going to say to God? How many of those who took their children, their children grew up with this hate? What, what do you think they, when they die, are going to say to God? Do they feel they're going to give an account of themselves to God? You know the answer? They will give an account of themselves to God. Those who did the, the killing, the mutilation, they're going, they're going to give account to God. They may have got away with, with men, but they're not going to get away with God. How many of you believe those people who are Christians? Some of them call themselves so-called Christian, but if they participate in that, do, do anybody, does anybody today in 2023 believe that those people who did the atrocity that they did are children of God? When they even, when he gave the old commandment, he said, thou shalt not kill. Christ gave a commandment to go preach the gospel, to love one another. So, anybody think that these people who did those brutal things what, how's that square with the thou shall not kill or murder so the study today is the fact is that we all give an account of ourselves to god and so leave this one thing if nothing else what would jesus do what would yeshua do think that way as you move through life hey <laughs> And don't worry about whether people approve of where you are, where you are or not. You are a child of God because it's the will of God. Remember we put that in 2 Timothy? He will for all men to be saved and come to the full knowledge of the truth of God. I'm putting things out. I told you longer because I'm trying to make sure you get the word of God. Because it's the word of God that matters, not me. But I'm guaranteeing you if some preacher or some Christian sit there and say you are accountable to me now i'm gonna judge you i'm gonna assess whether you believe or not you need to sit there and say you i'm not accountable to you so i don't matter whether you believe i'm a christian or not i don't need you to sit there and try to tell me that i'm i can go to assess myself i'm not even gonna make assessment myself i'm gonna sit there and say i'm a child of god because of him and i'm trying to do his will and you sit there and come tell me with some small thin layer, one thin slice of Christianity, and to hold me accountable, because I'm not going to be accountable to you. I'm accountable to God. Stop letting people sit there and run people off away from the church because you they didn't you didn't meet their criteria. Do you need to meet their criteria? You need to meet God's criteria. You remember Christ said, I didn't come to call the righteous, but I came to call the sinners to repentance. So he's seeking you. He's seeking me. Those people sit there act like they never sin. Those people act like they don't sin. You need to sit there and say, get behind me, Satan. You're mindful of the things of man and the things of God. And don't sit there and tell me you want to give me one piece of God's will and hold me accountable for it. You'll hold the rest of the stuff in life that you're accountable for. Get a life. You pray for me. You have mercy for me. You don't sit there and condemn me because you have not the authority to do so. You should encourage me to do right, but you don't sit there and try to tell me that I'm supposed to think the way you think. Doing that, running so many people away from Christ, running so many people from church. You got some people sit there say, how can you be a Democrat if you're a Christian? How can you be a Christian if you're a Republican? Get a life. You can be a Christian. You call yourself a Christian. You can be affiliated with any party you want. The question is, as long as you say that, his will is above their will, their platform, your platform, your will. I am not being held accountable because of you. I will take those issues, those platforms, those things to God. And on top of this, in the middle of this, I am not an instrument of God. I'm not a judge. 
I don't judge people whether they can go to heaven or hell. I don't judge that. I'm just telling you, you need to be accountable to God. And if you feel comfortable with what you're doing, you keep doing what you're doing with your bad self. But I know that I'm accountable to God. And you need to make sure you do that. When you confront people, they can confront you. You say, pray for me. Those are things I got to work on. But I hope you're praying for yourself as well. And I hope you line up with his will as well. Because you know what? You come in the way you want to, but you can give account to God. And one of the things you got to worry about is if you sit there condemning me, if you sit there coming against me, and especially you're trying to use physical force against me, you're going to be accountable to God. You do what you do. You call what you want to call it. Amen. Man, I, I, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and reflect on these scriptures again. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and put these videos out. And I, and I, and I hope that we all just study show ourselves approved. And just recognize we're accountable to God. What would Yeshua do when you make decisions? Be line up with that. I think you're going to make some right decisions. I'm going to make perfect because no one's perfect. I ain't perfect. And I ain't said I am perfect. But I know what? I know nobody out there. I know. You know. None of them are perfect. None of them are holy. But they can be holy in Christ. You can't be holy outside of Christ. You can't be holy outside of your own preference. Your own righteousness. You're not going to be holy. You only going to be holy because of him. You're going to be righteous because of him. That's what the scriptures say. All right. All right. God bless you. Hope you have a great week. And I'll see you when I see you. I'm going to go ahead and do my introduction uh, for these tapes. You know, I'll break them down into segments, right? i break them down to from A, B, and C, try to do 20 and 30 minutes, you know, mostly, uh, <laughs> to the best of my ability. And and then I sit them and put those out, hopefully on a daily basis. I send out texts, I send out like, a, like today, <laughs> Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But the uh, YouTube and uh, Facebook and Twitter, they get it every day. You know, hey, you gotta reach people the best way you can, right? It's about the word of God, preach the gospel. That's what we call us to do. So I'm going to preach it. I'm going to teach it. I'm going to discuss it. And I hope you do the same. Learn what you learn. Throw out what's not important. But don't throw out the will of God. And share. Man, we need to, we, we, let's share the scriptures. All right? And don't forget to subscribe. Amen? All right, God bless you. I'll see you. I'll see you. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, do my introduction for my videotapes uh, from this session today. All right? Stay blessed. Bye-bye. <laughs> This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.